I'm glad you could join us. Go ahead and stab the like button and stick around for the next untold story. In the picturesque town of Harmony Falls, nestled in the rolling hills of New England, life was idyllic. The townspeople prided themselves on their close-knit community, where everyone knew everyone, and secrets were few and far between. It was the kind of place where doors were left unlocked and children played freely in the streets. Julia Evans was one of those children. At eight years old, she was bright, cheerful, and well-liked by everyone in town. Her parents, Rachel and Tom Evans, were proud of their little girl, often boasting about her academic achievements and kind heart. However, everything changed one cold winter night. Rachel had gone to check on Julia, who had been complaining of a fever and a headache earlier in the day. As she opened the door to Julia's room, a blast of cold air hit her, and she froze in place. Julia was standing in the middle of the room, her eyes fixed on Rachel with an intensity that sent shivers down her spine. The room felt unnaturally cold, and a strange, almost palpable darkness seemed to hang in the air. Julia, sweetheart, are you okay? Rachel asked, her voice trembling. Julia's gaze never wavered. Mommy, there's something wrong with me, she said, her voice flat and emotionless. And Rachel's heart pounded in her chest as she approached her daughter. It's okay, honey. Let's get you back to bed. As Rachel reached out to touch Julia, she felt a jolt of electricity course through her body. She recoiled in shock, her eyes wide with fear. Julia's expression remained unchanged, her eyes boring into Rachel's soul. That night marked the beginning of a series of disturbing events. Julia's behavior became increasingly erratic and unsettling. She would often wake up in the middle of the night, speaking in a language no one could understand. Objects in the house would move on their own, and the temperature would drop inexplicably. Rachel and Tom were at their wits' end. They sought help from doctors, psychologists, and even spiritual advisors, but no one could explain what was happening to their daughter. The townspeople, once friendly and supportive, began to distance themselves from the Evans family, whispering about curses and possession. One evening, Rachel decided to visit Father James, the town's priest, hoping he could offer some insight or assistance. Father James was a kind and wise man, respected by everyone in Harmony Falls. He listened intently as Rachel recounted the strange occurrences and Julia's disturbing behavior. Rachel, I believe your daughter may be possessed by a demon, Father James said, his voice grave. We must perform an exorcism to rid her of this evil. Desperate for a solution, Rachel agreed. The exorcism was scheduled for the following evening. Father James instructed Rachel and Tom to prepare Julia's room, removing any objects that could be used as weapons and placing a crucifix above her bed. As the sun set, casting long shadows across the town, Father James arrived at the Evans home, accompanied by two other priests. They entered Julia's room, where she lay on her bed, her eyes closed and her breathing shallow. Father James began to recite prayers, his voice steady and firm. As the exorcism progressed, Julia's body convulsed and she let out blood-curdling screams. The temperature in the room plummeted, and an overwhelming sense of malevolence filled the air. Leave this child, demon, Father James commanded. In the name of God, I cast you out. Julia's eyes snapped open, and a guttural voice that was not her own spoke. You are too late, priest. She belongs to us now. The room shook violently, and objects flew off the shelves. The priests continued their prayers, their voices rising in intensity. Julia's body arched off the bed, and the demonic voice laughed, a chilling sound that echoed through the house. Rachel and Tom watched in horror, clutching each other for support. They prayed silently, hoping that Father James could save their daughter. Hours passed, and the exorcism continued. Julia's screams grew louder, and the malevolent presence in the room seemed to intensify. Just when it seemed that all hope was lost, a blinding light filled the room, and Julia's body fell limp on the bed. Father James collapsed to his knees, exhausted, but relieved. It's over, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. The demon is gone. Rachel and Tom rushed to Julia's side, tears streaming down their faces. Julia's eyes fluttered open, and she looked at her parents with a clarity that had been absent for weeks. Mommy? Daddy? What happened? She asked, her voice weak. Rachel hugged her daughter tightly. You're safe now, sweetie. Everything is going to be okay. 
Over the next few days, the Evans family began to rebuild their lives. Julia seemed to have no memory of the possession, and her behavior returned to normal. The townspeople, hearing of the successful exorcism, slowly began to accept the Evans family once more. However, Father James knew that the battle was far from over. He had seen the true power of the demon and knew that it would not give up so easily. He remained vigilant, keeping a close eye on Julia and the town, ready to act if the darkness ever returned. But as the weeks turned into months, a new sense of unease settled over Harmony Falls. Strange occurrences began to happen again, this time affecting other families in the town. Objects moved on their own, doors slammed shut without warning, and cold spots appeared in houses. Father James grew increasingly concerned. He gathered Rachel, Tom, and a few trusted members of the community to discuss the situation. The demon may have left Julia, but its presence is still here, he warned. We must remain vigilant and united. One night, as Father James was preparing to retire to his quarters, he heard a faint whispering coming from the church. He followed the sound, his heart pounding with dread. The whispers grew louder, more insistent, and led him to the altar. There, standing in the dim candlelight, was Julia. Her eyes glowed with an unnatural light, and a sinister smile played on her lips. Hello, Father, she said, her voice a chilling blend of her own and the demonic. Father James realized with horror that the demon had never truly left. It had merely lain dormant, biding its time. The exorcism had only driven it deeper, allowing it to gain a stronger hold on Julia. We are not done yet, priest, the demonic voice hissed. This town belongs to us. Father James steeled himself, knowing that the battle had only just begun. He had to protect Julia and the town from the growing darkness. With a prayer on his lips and unwavering determination in his heart, he prepared to face the demon once more, knowing that the fate of Harmony Falls hung in the balance. Father James took a deep breath and began to recite prayers, his voice strong and unwavering despite the terror gnawing at his insides. Julia's demonic laugh echoed through the church, a sound that chilled him to the bone. Your prayers are useless, priest, the demon taunted. She is mine. Ignoring the taunts, Father James continued his exorcism, his voice rising with each word. The church trembled, the candles flickering violently. Julia's body convulsed, her eyes rolling back into her head. Outside, the wind howled, and the once peaceful town of Harmony Falls was engulfed in chaos. People ran from their homes as a thick, unnatural fog rolled in, bringing with it a bone-chilling cold. Strange, shadowy figures moved through the fog, their eyes glowing with the same malevolent light that shone in Julia's eyes. Rachel, Tom, and the townspeople who had gathered at Father James's request stood outside the church, watching in horror as the building shook and strange noises emanated from within. We have to help him, Rachel cried, her face pale with fear. We can't let the demon take Julia. Tom grabbed her hand, his own fear mirrored in her eyes. We will, he said, his voice steady, but we need to be careful. Inside the church, Father James was growing weaker. The demon's power was immense, and he could feel his strength waning. Leave this child, demon, he commanded one last time, pouring every ounce of his faith into the words. Julia's body lifted off the ground, suspended in midair. The demon's laugh turned into a shriek of rage and pain. For a moment, it seemed as if Father James was succeeding. But then, the unthinkable happened. The demon, with a final furious effort, broke free of Father James's hold. Julia fell to the ground, her body limp and lifeless. The candles in the church were extinguished, plunging the room into darkness. Father James collapsed, his body exhausted and his spirit broken. He had failed. The demon had won. Outside, the townspeople watched in horror as the fog grew thicker and the shadowy figures closed in. The temperature dropped further and an eerie silence settled over the town. Rachel and Tom, desperate to save their daughter, ran into the church. They found Father James lying on the floor, barely conscious. Julia's body lay motionless nearby. Julia! Rachel screamed, rushing to her daughter's side. She shook her gently, tears streaming down her face. Wake up, baby. Please wake up. Tom helped Father James to his feet. What happened? He demanded. Did the exorcism work? Father James shook his head, his eyes filled with despair. The demon is too strong. 
I couldn't... His voice broke, and he fell silent. A cold, mocking laugh echoed through the church. Julia's body began to twitch, and her eyes snapped open, glowing with the demon's malevolent light. You cannot defeat me, the demon said through Julia's lips. This town is mine! Rachel screamed and clutched her daughter, but the demon's power was too strong. It lifted Rachel off the ground, throwing her across the room. Tom ran to her side, his eyes filled with tears and fear. Father James, summoning the last of his strength, stood and faced the demon. In the name of God, I command you to leave, he said, his voice trembling but resolute. The demon laughed again, a sound that reverberated through the church and the town. Your God cannot save you now, it hissed. You are all mine. The shadowy figures outside the church moved closer, their eyes glowing brighter. The fog enveloped the town, and the air grew so cold that frost formed on the ground. Father James fell to his knees, his spirit broken. Lord, forgive me, he whispered, tears streaming down his face. The demon, still inhabiting Julia's body, stepped forward. Your faith is useless, priest, it said. You cannot save her. Suddenly, the church doors burst open, and the townspeople, led by Tom, rushed inside. They held candles and crosses, their faces filled with determination. We will not let you take our town, Tom shouted. The demon recoiled, surprised by the strength of their resolve. The townspeople began to chant prayers, their voices rising in unison. The power of their collective faith filled the church, pushing back the darkness. For a moment it seemed as if the tide was turning. The demon screamed in fury, its grip on Julia weakening. The shadowy figures outside the church began to dissipate, their forms melting into the fog. But then, with a final, desperate act, the demon unleashed its full power. The church shook violently, and a deafening roar filled the air. The townspeople were thrown to the ground, their candles extinguished. Julia's body was lifted off the ground, her eyes glowing brighter than ever. The demon's voice echoed through the church, filled with rage and triumph. You will all suffer for your defiance. A blinding light filled the room, and the air grew so cold that it burned. The townspeople screamed in terror as the light consumed them, their bodies frozen in place. When the light finally faded, the church was silent. The townspeople lay motionless on the ground, their bodies covered in frost. Father James, Rachel, and Tom were the only ones left standing, their faces filled with despair. Julia's body fell to the ground, lifeless and cold. The demon's presence was gone, but the damage had been done. The town of Harmony Falls was forever changed, its once peaceful streets now filled with the memories of terror and loss. Father James, his spirit broken, left the town soon after, unable to face the failure of his faith. Rachel and Tom, their hearts shattered, buried Julia in the town cemetery, a constant reminder of the darkness that had consumed their lives. And though the demon was gone, its presence lingered in the shadows, a silent reminder of the horrors that had once plagued Harmony Falls. The town never fully recovered, its people living in fear of the darkness that could return at any moment. The story of Julia Evans and the demon that had possessed her became a chilling legend, a warning to those who dared to confront the unknown. And as the years passed, the town remained vigilant, always watching, always waiting, for the return of the darkness that had once brought them to their knees. Thank you for listening. Now watch this video 